This is code.org. I see code. I'm hit and run. Whoa, oh, we have an error. Which, yep, exception to your code hit an exception while running. Java util concurrence modification exception. It thinks it might be from line 18, which my console.java, they're trying to tell us maybe it's line 18, or that's where it's seeing there at first, which kind of makes sense. All right. This, oh yeah, this program is supposed to remove items from the food list that are more than five characters long, but has an error. Find and fix it. So item.length, uh, each string of foods item, if that, ah, so we cannot access items from, um, uh, enhanced loop like this, right? Item isn't going to work. Item will be whatever this is, whatever. The, I'm not even going to try guys, some of these words, but say it was sushi. We can't say foods dot remove sushi. We would need to say foods dot remove. What is this index? Zero, one, two, three, four, five, six. We'd say remove index six and that would work. So we either need to kill off our enhanced loop or do now nah, we're just going to kill off our enhanced loop. That's the answer for this. So let's do for int i is equal to zero. i is going to be less than food dot length and not dot length because it's an array list. So I need to do size and then let's go up by one each time. And now how do you, you might be thinking Mr. Geyser, but how do I know if the size of the word is greater than five? We could actually even still have this word thing item if we wanted to use it I could do string item is going to be equal to foods dot get I and that's going to get the value at that index like always use your documentation if you're not sure because it is good All right get okay and now I can say item if items dot length is greater than five I'm going to remove not item but I bam that's one way of doing this. Another way we could just do this directly, of course, foods.get, and we don't have to have this variable item. There's often more than one way to do things like this, guys. It's gonna be up to you to figure out how you like, regardless. Oh, that's still an issue. I was going too fast. Notice this is five characters long and we miss it. Now, why do we miss it? Because as we're looping through, Right. As we're going up one, we kill off this word. And what happens? Right. In our loop, we say this is greater than five and we kill that off. Then we're going to go back around. I is currently equal to zero. We just killed that off, but we have to add one to I. So I plus plus now I is equal to one. However, size is going down by one. We killed this off. So our size now is one, two, three, four, five, six which doesn't matter too much, but I'm at index one. So it then drops in here. Well, what's at index one of my new array? This is at index one. This is index zero. And we never look at that again because we are just going to keep going. And so we miss that this is also greater than five. So to make this work for us, we could do I minus minus. What we're really doing here is we're saying looping through uh, the list, but we're always going to keep i at zero, which is kind of strange. But the reason this doesn't break anything is because we know we are going to. This will break something. Ooh, this one's tricky. I like this one. So what this is going to do is mean we have an infinite loop. And that is because we're going to always, if I only remove something when it's greater than five, then this will be our end array right here. But I is going to be stuck at zero because I goes up by one each time and down by one each time. So the only time we should actually decrement I is right here. Because if we do happen to remove something, we need to make sure that I will still go back one because everything is shifted over. So like this first word, when I kill this off, I need to make sure since I know I just did that, that I take I, which would currently be at zero when I kill that off, and I set it minus one. I set it to negative one. The reason being is I know we're going to go back around I plus plus. So now I is back to zero and that makes sure we're going to look at this index. If I didn't set it to that, I would be one and we would miss it. Let's try that. There we go. Ooh, that one was tricky. Fun. Onward. 